Alright, the TR580 valve body, the harness. So, theoretically, of course, everything's theoretic. Theoretically speaking, this solenoid is like 5 ohms, 6 ohms. This one's reading like 4, I think. Uh, this is backwards. All wheel drive, 2 to 5 ohms. The one I just purchased and installed is reading 3. That's, that's good. 13 ohms, primary up, primary down, shift A, shift B. Lockup duty solenoid, 13 ohms as well. These are all reading about 11 or 12. So theoretically, they are good. And we are done installing. I initially ignored this one. I put the new one over here uh, with a bad diagram. So I was like, oh, 4 ohms, that's a bad solenoid. I pulled it out, threw it away, put the 13 ohm solenoid in there. Yeah. Uh, it should be two to five at the most. <clears throat> I threw away a good solenoid, replaced it with a good solenoid that was 13 ohms, not the right ohmage. Uh, and then I realized that later on I had the bad diagram, so now I just bought a new all wheel drive solenoid, three ohms, put it in the right spot, took the brand new 13 ohm solenoid, put it in this spot this one was the original issue the lockup duty which was reading a thousand ohms it should be reading 13 ohms at most uh, so the one I have over here on the bench is still reading a thousand ohms I know that I've removed the bad one at this point and replaced it with a good one so I moved 13 ohm from here to here fix my original issue uh, I just didn't understand the wiring and all that but now everything is understood everything is proper everything is the way it should be I'm going to reinstall this and call it a day